Does adding a pause in your workflow actions actually add a pause to your workflow actions? In some cases, yeah, and in some cases, no. Let me show you. So here we are in an editor, and we see that we have a create order. We have a scroll to set state. So the create order is going to happen on the server side. The scroll happens on the client side. Set states happen on client side, and then we have this pause action. Now, a pause action is helpful to actually pause things that are happening on the client side. So in this case, scroll to, set state, all client side actions, then a pause will happen before the next client side action, which is a set state, and then a trigger. However, we have a create new order and a schedule API workflow, both of which are server side actions. So the way this pause would actually work is the create order and the schedule will run as fast as possible. Then the client side actions will happen two, three, pause, and then five, seven. So adding a pause only affects the client side actions. Server side actions are still going to run as fast as possible. But client side actions, if you want to split those up with a pause, the pause action will work for your use case. So hopefully this brings more clarity of how you can use the pause action in your client side workflows reduces confusion of why it might not be working for your server side actions and in general was helpful for you to learn more about building in bubble and if you enjoyed this video please follow me for more